Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful Christmas flowers earrings. I'm using here the Christmas colors and the beads that my friends from BB Craft were so nice to send me. I have links to all the materials that I'm using here in description and uh, you will also find their Bijuteo 5 discount code. You will also find other useful links my, like my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook page, my PayPal link for donation and by the way, if you want, you can become a member of this channel and get some beautiful perks around here. But let me stop talking and start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, and as I told you in the beginning, here I'm using the beads that my friends from BB Craft sent me. I have all the links down there in description. These are glass 11 ounce seed beads and here I'm going to pick the Christmas colors which are golden, green and red colors. So these are the three colors that I'm using from this palette of, of 24 colors that you could see down there in description and uh, you see here i'm also using earring findings from bb craft again and uh, i should pick the best match for these beads here and i think the best match are these like old gold or couple copper color earring findings so i'm gonna be using them in my tutorial okay so i'll tell you now what else i'm gonna be using so as i told you guys what i'm using here for this video are 11 ounce glass seed beads that my friends from bb craft sent me and these earring findings in like a copper color and here I'm using monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors, and I use pliers. I use them because I squeeze my monofilament to go through my size 10 beading needle. Okay, and now I'm going to be taking uh, just a little bit more than half an arm span of thread and I'll be back. Okay guys, so what I'm taking here in my first step are six of those beautiful green beads. Okay, and I have my six on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull like I always do. It's called surgeon's knot or hull hitch knot. And now I make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And now guys, I will go through some beads in this direction. And I have this now. And in my next step, I'm going to take a golden bead. And as I'm exiting through one of the greens, I'm going through the neighbor one, adding one golden. Then I will repeat this, another golden. Go like this. And another one. You see, it's all the same. I'm adding golden beads between the greens and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, now I have this. And in my next step, I want to go through one of these newly added golden beads. And I'm going to add three red beads. Okay, three reds. And as I'm exiting from this golden, I'm going in this red, be uh, in this other golden. Then again, I'm taking three red beads, going in the next golden. Th 
three reds go in the next golden. And I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row. Okay, so now I have this. And in my next step, I want to go through the first of those three reds that I added here. You see where I'm exiting. And I'm going to add five red beads. Okay, and I have my five beads here. And as I'm exiting here, I skip this one that's sticking out the most and go through the following red and also go through the golden if you can in one movement. Then go in this red. And what I want to do is take five reds again, skip this top and go through the following red and through the golden. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step, I want to go through all of those red beads. I'm exiting next to this one that is sticking out the most. And here I want to take three red beads, skip the one at the top and go through two beads in this direction. Then take just one golden and go here one bead, red bead away from the angle and through the next two beads. Okay, this is what I have. Then take three red beads, skip the one at the top and go through the following two. Take one golden skip the first thread that is next to the golden and to the angle and go through the next two then take three reds skip the top and go through the following two and i will continue these guys until i finish this row and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last golden bead from this row. And what I want to do here is add five more red beads. Okay, five. And I skip here the top go through the next two beads and I take two golden beads go in the same place one bead away from the golden at the angle like this and take five more red beads okay five Skip the top, go through the next two after the top. 
take two goldens, go in the same place one red bead away from this golden and through these two beads. Then take five red beads and go like this. And with these two goldens, I will let you do this until the end. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind and repeat these three steps from here and I'll meet you. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. And what I want to do is go through two beads in this direction, like this. I'm again next to this top bead that's sticking out the most and I take three red beads, I skip it and now I go through three beads in this direction. Then here what I'm going to add is red, golden and red and what I do is that I go in the same place one bead away from those two golden beads. Okay, through this one. If this is next to them, I'm going through the following. And now I go through the following two. And I'm going to add three more red beads like this. and red, golden, and red. And I go here in the same place like I did before, through this one, then through two more in this direction. Take three, Go through the following three and red, golden, red. Go here and I will continue doing this guys until the end and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. And as I'm exiting through this golden what I'm going to take are three red beads and I go here through this red which is one bead away from the bead that's sticking out the most okay here through this bead then I go through the following red and I'm going to take three beads and I skip the top and I go through the next two beads after the top. Okay, this is what I have. Then I take three red beads, go here. Here in this row the magic formula is three red beads. Take three. go through the next two and as I'm exiting through this golden I'm going to take three more seed beads and I go through these two just before the edge okay I'm exiting here next to this bead that's sticking out the most and I'm going to take three seed beads. Then I go through the following two and I'm going to take three and go here through this golden. Then again three and go here through this one 
take three to add at the top and go through the following two okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end it's really easy uh, if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat repeat until the end and I'll meet you here okay and here I am at the last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row I'm going through the golden here popping it up a little bit to be easier and I must warn you that at this stage your work will bend a little bit but don't worry because we'll fix it later now after the golden I want to go through the next two red beads and I'm pulling then what I want to do is take again three red beads go here through this bead that is next to the top to the one that's sticking out the most okay here I want to take three golden beads and go here through the next bead fix and pull then I'm going to take three red beads again and I will go here through the middle red of this tree that I added in my previous row okay now I have this then I'm going to take just one green bead and go here through the next red then I'm taking three red beads like this and I go here one bead away from the top of my petal and then I take three goldens to finish the top skip the next one and go through the following okay then I need three and go here in the middle through this red and I need one and I go also here in the middle one of this red that I added in my previous row three go here three goldens go here three reds go here one green and go here okay and I will continue these guys and I will meet you here at the end okay guys and I'm here at my last step where I add my last green bead from this row and what I want to do is show you how I'm attaching my earring finding and in order to do this I'm going in this direction I'm exiting here at this golden bead and I'm going to take my earring finding and now I'm going to take two green beads my earring finding and two green beads and I go back like this and I pull then I go through some beads in this direction and I want to reinforce the whole thing Thank you. 
okay and after i reinforced here what i want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and i'm making my knot i'm going twice through this loop i've made here i make sure i'm between those two beads where i started my knot from and i pull and then i'm going through some beads in this direction i cut my thread and my christmas flower earring is ready okay guys and now my christmas flowers earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button because in this way you will receive new tutorials and you will be inspired often you could also check description for a useful link list of materials all of my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook page my second channel with the fast clips my store my paypal a link for donations and you could also become a member of this channel and get some beautiful perks also you could see a link to this feature in description Thank you to all of you that like, share and comment. You don't know how much you helped me only with this action. Thank you and bye-bye from me.